Hi everyone, welcome to another interesting class on Autodesk and for this class I'll be talking about how you can model a custom gutter. Always like and subscribe, use the share button and always drop a comment. It helps me a lot to know how you guys are responding to my tutorial. Let's bust into the class. Now as you can see, I have this simple design. And here I want to show us how we can um, create a kind of um, gutter, which are custom gutter. So for example, as you can see here, I'm going to bring in a gutter. So if I should go to my roof, that should be found on the roof. Then you can go to gutter. On gutter, when you click on gutter here, then I can insert a gutter. So as you can see, here is the gutter. So I'll click on gutter. When I click on gutter, I pick here and you can see I've input a gutter here. That's fine, that's correct. Now let me try and then maintain my front view. And then I can use dimension to know the wideness of this gutter. Oh, what I have previewed to that. Well, let me see if I have my section view available to me. So that will just give me a scope of the, uh, the dimension of that gutter in terms of uh, it's a section view so now when i create that gutter here i'm going to just uh, see so yeah i'm going to click on my measurements so i'll take from here to this point so i have about uh, 125 millimeter so having 125 millimeter then i can always uh, check let me see the height of this gutter so from here i can go down to about a uh, 125 by 125 that's cool so i can have something like well probably something like uh, 100 by 125 or i can have it as 130 by 100 that's okay so this is the profile that i want to change and to do that let me just maintain this view so i can have my so to do that i'm going to go to file and i'm going to go to create um new but now it's going to be a new family so i'll click on family here i'm going to look for let me go to this place now the way the list was opening if i should go to list i can see it absolutely this way so yeah i can pick some of these metrics but uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm going to use this profile now you have this profile of mullion rail review and then uh, you know stand nothing so i'll maintain metric profile and I'll click open. Now I'm on metrics profile. So one of the things I will do is that I'm just going to create that straightforward. So I'll go to under create. I'll go back to, I'll go to line. There is something you're supposed to do first. I'm going to do that, but whichever way, if I do it first or not, it will still works. So now this is going to maintain the position. So I'm going to come here, pick this point. And I'll create from here. I want to have, you know, my position is about uh, 130. So ideally, I can create offset first of my profile. Or while I'm on create, let me go back here. While I'm on create, I can create what I call a, a reference line. I can create a line, and that line can just be a reference line. But then there is no need for that. So let me come here, pick this point. Then I can have something like about. Uh, 10 i will drop that then i want to have a length of uh, a length of about uh, 105 plus 10 that will give it 110 so i still have about uh, 20 left so let me go to 115 so i can have just 10 left that's okay so i can now use this to break that point press escape key from here to here and i'll push it down okay this is the kind of damper i want to have i don't want it to be completely so this is the kind of damper i want to have so i'll drop this this way that's okay select this and then i'm going to delete that then i'll continue with my creation i'm not done yet with my creation go back to create again line and then i can input this you know this is 15 then i have 10 left so i'll drop at 10 
then I can have something right about uh, five come back here just have something very simple and very little so I'll come back here to this junction here click and I'll drag it down never mind that's okay I'm cool with that so I'll have this then I can come here and then I can create that or small so I can come here bring it down a bit dropped and then you can just create your make sure that you create a parametric shape whichever way that you you have it so now having created this i'll just click finish but one thing you must understand before i proceed ahead is that i need to lock this to a particular metric itself you can see the family categories and the parametrics so i'll click on this family category and parameters and then i'm going to lock it now you can see section shape there's no need for that but profile usage is very essential and it is generic here no because Revit might likely not sense it if I did not use the appropriate uh, belonging so now here yeah, I'm going to look for gutter select that I'll click OK and now that I've made it gutter that's cool and I'll go back to my 3D project here then let me select this gutter then I'll come here edit type I'm going to duplicate here I'll give it a name I can call it custom gutter whichever way just give it a kind of a custom uh, uh, parabola gutter or things like that all right so now I'll click OK and then OK then I can visit it back then I'll come to its profile here because you know I've locked it to a profile of gutter so I expect to have that here this is custom gutter cool so I'll select that and I'll apply cool but that doesn't look exactly like what we did so that means it was not this exactly because if you look at the shape here so we'll go back there we are going to save it because we have not saved it so we'll come here and we'll say save this now this is going to save as dot rfa always have a place to save it but I just want to save it because I have custom gutter here already so here I can see custom gutter x x good and I'll click on cool I'll click save correct now that I've saved I'll say load into project which project existing project if you have more than one project open, just make sure that you select the name of the project. So I'll select this back again now. Then I'll come here. And yeah, I'll come here. Then I can see it. Custom Gota XX. I'll select that. I'll click on the apply. And I'll click on OK. And you can see that the profile change. And here we go. That completes that on how you can create a custom gutter. Now feel free to demonstrate and practice this. So I can always create similar. Yeah, I can see how that automatically joined that edge. You can see that's cool. So, for the case of those that you want to create a custom gutter that simply looks like this, you can see this is the shape that I've just created. So, that is that about that. And then, I in my videos, you can see I've created a dump pipe. Then, somebody make a request that I should make a rectangular dump pipe. Of course, we'll definitely do that. So that is that about that here. Yeah. So I can always create this as well. So then you can add a down pipe to this, and then that is cool. Let's check our 3D view. Let's just go in here, and you can see that we have that present right on our design. That's a simple way. Or now you can create this custom gutter. If you like this, if you enjoyed this video, please simply share this video, like, subscribe. Very importantly, please do drop a comment. It helps me a lot in deciding my next video at the same time. So thanks and have a wonderful day. I'll catch up with you. Please do not forget to subscribe. It helps my YouTube page a lot. Thank you so much. So when I drop new videos, you'll, be notific you, you, you'll get notifications. So thank you and have a wonderful day. Good luck.